How to install Ansible in Oracle Linux version 8? Today we are going to talk about the easier way to install and maintain up-to-date Ansible inside Oracle Linux 8 using the ePAL repository. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Today we are talking about uh, how to install Ansible in Oracle Linux 8. The easier way to install and maintain Ansible inside Oracle Linux version 8 is using the Extra Packages for Enterprise Linux ePAL additional repository. This repository is maintained by the Fedora Special Interest Group that manages a high quality set of additional packages for Enterprise Linux. For example, Enter Red Hat Enterprise Linux, Oracle Linux, Scientific Linux, and many more. Are you ready to make your hands dirty? Let's jump in a quick live demo about how to install the latest version of Ansible in Oracle Linux. Are you ready? Let's go! Welcome to my terminal. First of all, let me connect to my demo machine via SSH. DevOps is the username that I'm used for the installation and oraclelinux.example.com is the hostname. As you can see, this is clearly an Oracle Linux 8 machine. So let me switch to root user and share with you some more information. Let me cut slash etc Red Hat release and is uh, compatible with uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.5. This is, uh, as you can see on OS release, this is Oracle Linux 8.5, whatever. Hostname control give us more information about uh, the running architecture that might be useful. And uname dash A give you the running kernel. But now let's focus on Ansible. So first of all, let's try to install with DNF info Ansible and we are expecting no package available in the repository because uh, Ansible is not present in the main repository. So we need to set up ePAL that uh, for Oracle is oracle-epal-release with dnf install let's try to install and oh no packages to match Oh, because I forgot the EL8 in the end. So let me add EL8, which means Enterprise Linux 8. And in a very fast moment, the EPL repository is set it up in my system. Now, when I search again for Ansible, I will get the result from the EPL repository. Just the time for updating the repository metadata and this is the available package version 2.9.27 as you can see the repository is Oracle Linux developer ePAL. Mm, so when we type dnf install the grand total of 16 packages for 24 megabyte to download and 125 megabyte after installation will be present in my system. As you can see, the installing progress process is pretty smooth and as usual as other packages. And the end, we can check it out with Ansible dash dash version. So 2.9.27 as expected on Python 3.6. With DNF info, we can verify that now the package is installed in our system. And big success! Now we have 
Ansible 2.9.27 installed in Oracle Linux and available for all our automation. As you can see, relying on ePAL repository is the best option because it is well maintained and up to date with all the Fedora community. So, good job and move forward. Now you know how to install the latest version of Ansible in Oracle Linux using the ePAL repository. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, send me a thumbs up, write me a comment and in general, let's keep in contact with me. And if you enjoyed this video, see us on the next IT adventure with Ansible Pilot and have a great day. See ya! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.